all right, brother, you have you have some questions? I, I got you. I'm known teaching, so we don't want to do things out of order. What, what's your te what's your question? No, what I was asking is that you're preaching, right? Oh, yes, we're preaching, but I heard you saying some stuff. Right. So I asked him if he believes in the New Testament. Right. We believe in the whole Bible. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so for, a man, for a man to be saved, how can a man be saved? How can a man be saved? That's an excellent question. Yes. Matthew 19, 16. Mm. Let me show you. Because there's a guy that asked Christ the same question. He said, how can I be saved? Mm -hmm. Right? So we, we will give you the same answer Christ gave that man. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to say it. We, the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. We, and behold... One came and said unto him, like you come to us, you ask us, we, good master, good master, we, what good thing shall I do that I may have, that I may have eternal life? He said, what can I do to have eternal life, right? That's what you're asking, right? How can we be saved, we? And he said unto him, we, why call thou me good? He said, why are you calling me good, we don't? There is none good but one that is the most high. Because he give all credit and praise to the most high God, right? We don't? But if thou will enter into life, if you want to enter into life, you want to be saved like you asked me, we keep the commandments. You what? Keep the commandments. I can't hear you. Keep the commandments. So the Bible says, man, if you want to have life, Christ said, if you want to have life, you got to keep God's laws. Right. So, so you satisfy on that? No, but no. No, I just want to make sure that you, you agree with what he said. That's just a part of the requirement. Okay, so do you have another part? Yeah, we send John chapter 3. 3 verse 1. From, from verse 3. I, I, oh, uh, 3 verse 3. Yeah, just read. read John 3 verse 3. Send John chapter 3. So right. Read. Read. When it's about Nicodemus. Right, right. Okay, we're going to get to that. John 3 verse 3, right? No, you said? No, I said read from verse 1 to about verse 4. Because we can't read a whole chapter no, though. I didn't say okay, words. so we're going to start verse 1, right? Alright, let's, let's get to it. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 1. Read on. Book of John, chapter 3, verse 1. Read. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Amasia, Gaosha by night, mm -hmm. and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High. Read on. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except the Most High be with him. Read on. And Amasia answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I said unto thee, uh -huh. except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Right. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born again when he's old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb Read on. and be born again? And Mashiach answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born, a, be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Right, so he starts saying, You got to be born again. Right, so and he talks about, Except a man be born of water and of the spirit, right? He can enter the kingdom. You, you, know, you, you want to know what that means? Okay. So first of all, get me... I know what it means. Okay, so so what do you think it means? Because so since you don't want, I, I tell you what it means. Okay, first of all, get me um, get me John six sixty three right quick. No, we don't give out. No, get me get because let me show you how we read the Bible before we get confused. Ten twenty eight ten. Get me Isaiah to because the Bible you can't read it like a no. The Bible also tell you. Uh huh. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, I agree. In that same scripture. I agree with you. Right. But I'm just showing you, I'm just showing you, God tell us there's a way to read no, the Bible. No, but it's easy to answer, my brother. No, no, I'm not sure. I'm, let me make my point. After that, you, I'll let you go. Why are you going to another scripture? No, I'm going to show you why. That's exactly why I'm showing you why. But Isaiah 28 verse 10. Read. For precept must be upon precept. Precept must be upon precept. Read on. Line upon line, line upon line. Here a little, and here, here a little, here a little, and there a little. When you reading the Bible, precept must be upon. What is the precept? Is by example, if I say love, there's another verse that explains what is love. You can't read the whole Bible and get down this. That's what the mistake a lot of Christians make. 
They think it's reading the whole the Bible gonna make them understand. But God created the Bible as a puzzle. So here a little, in there a little. I can show you a little here, in there a little, there for you to have a full comprehension of what's being said. This is why I go to another verse to show you what the water mean, what the spirit mean, what born again mean. Those are all terms that are further explained in different passages. Bro, you understand? Bro, answer the question. That no, I the, okay, I'm trying to explain it, but no, you, but, but you think you no, know, no. But here's what we have. We, we here's what we have. We we stuck at a, a crossing world. You think I should explain it based on what's in front of me? But I'm showing you. God tell us we need to explain things based on here a little and there a little. Yeah. So I gotta I gotta pull a scripture to explain you what it means, right? So now, let's get to John, John 6, 6, 8, John so 6, we need to be born of the Spirit. So I'm going to break down the Spirit for you first. Read on. The book of John, chapter 6, verse 63. Read on. It is the Spirit that quickeneth. It is the Spirit that gives life. Read on. The flesh profit nothing. Your flesh profit nothing. Read on. The words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the word that God speak unto you, they are spirit. Now listen good. I want you to take your time to digest it. So no, hold on, hold on, no, no, no. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, that's what I'm trying. Okay, so the scripture said, listen. It says we need to be born of what? Water and spirit. So now I go to that text. It says the word God speak to you. Those are what? Spirit. Those are what? Spirit. So we need to understand life. what the spirit is. So he says the word God speak to you. Those are what? Spirit and they are life. So they are spirit. So when we go back to John, another word term you can put for spirit is God's word. You, right. agree, you agree with me or not? Bro, Bring it out. I'm not doing anything. Wait, 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 I'm breaking it wait, down wait, to you. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. You're confusing yourself with the scripture. I'm not confusing. Because, no. listen, <laughs> if you read Acts chapter 2 mm -hmm. and verse 38, what right. listen. If you are talking about chronological sequence or you read the Bible, mm -hmm. when, when, when God created man in the garden of Eden, right? And let me give you a look at this thing. Create man to serve him. Right. Man walk out of the presence of God. And God said, Well, man walk out of my presence. You have to find back a way to bring back man to me. Second Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. It says, For without controversy. Mm -hmm. It is the mystery of godliness. God put on flesh. Right. He came in the form of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That is known as a theophany of God. God made known in different forms. Just like when Moses saw the burning bush. That was God. Not in his entirety. Mm -hmm. but, but like in, in like and 116 of an inch. Mm -hmm. God came and died for us. <coughs> in the form of Jesus. Right. And he said, listen, we come to save the world. Okay. And we come to die. On the cross that Bible okay, who, who, did, who did Christ die for? He died for everybody. Okay, get me Matthew 15, 24. Wait, 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 wait. So let, you said he died for everybody. Listen, he I don't want to go he over died, all... He died for the sins of men. That's what the Bible For men? Okay, so let's see if you write or I'm wrong. No, let's see what Jesus himself no, said, right? No, but what hold on, hold on, hold on. You said Jesus wait. said he died for everybody. No, wait, before you even go in the further, mm -hmm. respect what the item are doing. What is it? I respect what the man that my do, because I'm a black man just like me. Mm -hmm. We respect you too, we, brother. We know, and a lot of things that you are saying is true. Right. But make sure you say the step to salvation, brother. Okay, so no, because no, the thing is, if you go in salvation way, yeah. or because you saying creation and you know, if you want to focus on one thing, I can. But if you going from, I'm going like that. I but hold on, let me. I said what it all right, takes so go ahead, go ahead. Same. Okay, so we're gonna go back to that since you also bring Jesus died for people, everybody. I'm gonna show you what Christ said himself, who he died for. The book of Matthew, me. chapter 15, verse 24. Read it as it's written, though. But he said, he but said, he answered and said, Christ said, Jesus, whom you call Jesus, we call him then the Hebrew name, we don't. I am not said, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So God say, I'm, I am not said, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Meaning, that's a wrong statement you made. Christ said, I only come for Israel. And who's Israel? You you looking at these people on the side. Do you understand that scripture? 
Well, it, okay, read it again, then you go. I'm gonna read it. You explain it. You explain it. Well, go, hold on, hold on. No, no, just for the audience. Matthew chapter 15, 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, uh -huh. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So go ahead. The reason why he said that, uh -huh. remember, you know, when God came on the scene, he came in the form of Jesus. Right? He came to a people who rejected him and turned him over to the woman. Mm -hmm. You know who those were? The, those were Israelites. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so, so because of the wicked deeds that they have done, uh -huh. he said he came to, to his own and his own received him not. Uh -huh. That's what the Bible is saying. Or me saying okay. What verse is that? I don't remember what verse in the Bible, but, okay. you, but you know it. Okay. You know it. You know okay. I mean, you're a scholar too, apparently, so you should know it. No. I should not know it for you. No, no, but what I'm, I didn't tell you that I'm a scholar. But, <laughs> well, it, it but, seems but, like but, you didn't come like someone who wanna learn. You come to debate. No. We're ready for. Because I'm trying to ask you. <laughs> this is what I'm trying right. to You're out here preaching. Uh huh. Okay? And a lot of the things that you're saying is true. But I'm gonna ask you, say, what give you the title to preach when you don't even know what it is to be saved? Okay, I was explaining it to you then. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, I went, I'm went. i using straight Bible. I went to Matthew 19, 16. It says for you to have eternal life. You got to remember what it says? Did you remember? Right, let Let's see if you were listening. What? No, hold on, hold on. No, no, I can't. Listen, we cannot have confusion. I'm talking. Listen, I'm talking. Hold on. So now, that being said, the first thing I told you, for you to be saved in Matthew 19, 16, you have to keep God's commandments. That's what he says. If you want to enter eternal life, keep God's commandments. You said no, that's partially. I agree. So, I agree with you. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you where we left him. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You, listen, take note of what I'm saying. Make mental note, then I'll let you talk. Okay. So now, the next thing you said, you said that's partial requirements for you to be saved. So you said, okay, let's go to John. What, what John 4 or John 3? So I started breaking down to you what does it because certain terms that I explain in the Bible, you need to understand what it means. Because some people say spirit mean when you dropping and giving money to your pastor. That's what spirit means. The Bible is not confusion. If the Bible says spirit, that means it knows what it's talking about. So I showed you John John six sixty three that the spirit is the word of God. I was about to show you what is the water now. What is it? What does it mean? Because we water. need to be born of water and spirit. So I show you spirit. Now I'm gonna show you water. Do you understand? Okay. So now get me uh, uh, Ephesians five, verse twenty-six. Because because we need we can't just say water. And, now I'm, I'm, after I, I read this, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you one thing. I'll let you go. Go ahead. We don't. Twenty-six. The book of Ephesians. So let's get the water. Read. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 26. Read. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water uh -huh. by the word. So read the verse before that so we get some context right quick. Ephesians 5, 25. Ephesians 5, chapter 25. Read. Husband, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church. Right. And read. gave himself for it. He gave his life for the church. That he might sanctify. That he may sanctify the and church. And cleanse it. And clean the with church. With the washing. With the of, washing. Of water. Of water. By the word. By what? By the now, word. A lot of time, let, me, let me finish. I'll let you. I promise. You see, a lot of time people will think that's the water that you go deep in the sea. Then you're going to be saved. But how many people get baptized out here that's still horse? How many people yeah, get baptized that's yeah. still stealing? You think real water can clean you for real? No, it doesn't. The, you know what's the only thing that's going to clean you? The word of God. Bring it out! That's why, yeah. when, when, hold on, I, I'm, I'm, I pro, as I say, I promise. I'm going to say this. You see, that's why Christ said earlier, you will be saved by keeping God's laws. By um, working according to principle, that's it. Do not steal. Do not commit adultery. Do not. Is this? You see what John uh, three is saying is the same thing. You will be if you born again by the word of God. Bring it out. Word and spirit Bring is two out. things that mean one thing. Wait. They mean the word of God. Now you can go but ahead. You see, but you see the way how you are defining the Bible. Right? Mm -hmm. Let me show you something. Go ahead. When I read Acts chapter two. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were always one accord. Go ahead. Read it fully. Tell about them speaking tongues. Mm -hmm. I agree. One other thing more for Acts, the apostles, when Jesus came, 
Right. And them show twelve. You know what? What? What did they do? Mm-hmm. Well, the, no, they, go ahead. You talking? No, go ahead. I'm, pre, wait, I'm listening. Let me tell you what them preach. Them preach repentance. Mm-hmm. I and, agree. And baptism in Jesus' name. Right. If you read Luke chapter twenty-four and verse forty-seven. Okay. Verse forty-five said, "When Jesus, before Jesus left them, he led them as far as to Bethany, and it opened up them understanding. Listen to what I'm saying. You can read it. He opened up the understanding that they might understand the, the scriptures. Mm -hmm. What? You are confused with the scripture, my brother. Let me show you something. Then it says, verse 47 says, and that repentance and remission of sin must be preached in his name among our nation, beginning at Jerusalem. Listen to what I say now. In Acts chapter 2, it says, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all upon a card in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the out where they were sitting. And they speak with other tongues. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2 verse 38 said, Then Peter said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is here for the For the promise is unto you and to your children, children, and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Read Galatians chapter 1. The apostles that you want repentance baptism in Jesus name within the of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so so what you're saying is no let me try to understand what you say. Let me try to understand. So what you're saying is baptism is a must. That's what the Bible says. Okay, okay, okay. So so I, listen, I understand and listen, I listen to you. No, no, I agree with you. Listen. You think I don't listen to you? I respect you. I listen to you what you so you saying baptism save you. Get me Matthew three. No, that's not what means. Okay. You want, right. you, want, you want to read it? Let him read it. No, no, I, listen, if you we can read it. You it know, uh, uh, before you ask it, before you ask uh -huh, it, go ahead. what was the apostles' doctrine? What was the apostles' doctrine? Yeah. Go ahead, tell All me. Of them guys, the apostles' doctrine was mm -hmm. in Galatians chapter 1. Paul said, I marvel that some of you are seeing children right. and turn from this pastor unto another, which there is not another, but though we are an angel from every piece, any other doctrine. The apostles' doctrine, Acts chapter 2 and verse 13. Repentance, baptism in Jesus' name. Okay. You have okay. to start that's if you identify with God. Okay. So no, no, I, 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 listen, I got if, it. If no, so, so the doctrine, the apostles' doctrine is repentance, that's what baptism, and what else? In Jesus' name. Okay, in Jesus' that, name. That's what okay, that's what okay. Know, so listen, pray. listen. That's what qualifies you to be a Hebrew. Okay. okay, so oh, oh, I hear you, but now let me let me show. Let me hold on, hold on, brother. Let me Matthew 3, verse 11, right quick. Yeah, no, listen. You see, I respect you, I listen to you. Now it's my turn. I'm not defining anything. I'm not defining anything. Matthew 3, 11. The book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 11. Brother, when it's not turn, you gotta let me talk too. Okay, so no, no, listen, that, listen. Uh, listen, I can't tell you how to explain. You can't tell me how to no, explain no, it. No, you got to explain it from no, the Bible. No, I do, I'm using no, the Bible. From that scripture. Who said that I have to use that scripture? No, because, because you see, that's where no does the Bible say I have to use that scripture? That's where your philosophy now, that's why I don't agree with you. Because you're telling me how to explain the Bible. But the Bible don't say I should stay in that verse. All right, all right, now ask you, what was the apostle doctrine? Well, you just said it. What you said it was baptism, no. repentance in the name of Jesus, right? That's, that's what, what you that's, said. That's what the Bible says. Okay, so, so that's what the Bible says, right? Yeah. Well, if, if, you if, believe that? Uh, hold on, let me show you then. Let me show you. Now, I do believe that, but let me show you something right quick. Let me show you where we differ. Right, you believe it, you do it. Let, let me show you no, where we differ. Matthew 3 verse 11. Let me, let me explain you what is the difference. Matthew 3 verse 11. You see, I listen to you. You don't want to listen to me. Matthew chapter 3 problem. verse 11. Read on. I indeed baptize you with water. So, so John said, listen, I come and baptize you with water. Read on. Unto repentance. Unto repentance, read. But he that come after me, the person that will come after me, is mightier than I. It's bigger than I. We don't. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. We don't. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. With what? He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Uh huh. With and with fire. So John is the one. Hold on. John is the one that came with water baptism. 
So Peter, they were doing John baptism, water baptism. But the real baptism we ought to receive after that is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So we Israelites, we don't go by water because we believe in what John prophesied. That the person that will come will baptize us through the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Do you believe that? Yeah, but listen, but you... Do you, no, no, do you believe the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Yeah. Okay, but so but so this is what Christ came to cleanse us with, with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Right, Get right. me John 15 verse 2 right quick. That's right. No, but, uh -oh. but, but you know how you get the Holy Spirit. Do you have the Holy Spirit? Do you have the Holy Spirit? No, man, I'll show you. I can answer what? all. No, I got you, no, but you I'm you already dealing with it. You, you, you next in line. Okay. <laughs> you next in line, sister. Get me John 15 verse 3. She asked me, Does, do I have the Holy Spirit? We, I got you. Right? Okay. Let me go to John chapter 15. Yeah, John 15, uh, John uh, 15 verse 3. The book of John chapter 15 verse 3. Read. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. You see, but when I when I got the holy baptism by the Holy Spirit, which I showed you earlier, spirit is the word of God. Holy means separated. It's two words. Holy, sanctified, separate, and spirit, word of God. So Holy Spirit is two words. Holy, separate, spirit, word. When you see what Christ said, you are clean through the Spirit of God. I mean, the minute the word of the most I come unto you, you'll no longer sin. The minute I tell my, I instruct my children not to steal, he's no longer going to steal. Oh, that's but, right. Hold on, I'm going to say one last thing. If I take my child and I baptize him, and I, I, I put him to water, right? Then I never teach him the Bible. Then I'm like, you're going to change in the name of Jesus because I baptize you. Will he change? No, he's like, ah! He's not going to change. What really changes you is God's instruction. Bring it out. Follow God's instruction. Bring it out. That's right. It cannot change you. Now, one last thing. Christ came to baptize us with the word. John came with water. Water was a symbol of the word. That's all it is. So, uh, I don't know if you want me to answer her question or you want to keep going. Let me, let me say this. It's up to you. Let me say this. What? I quote, I quote Acts chapter 2 and verse 30. Uh-huh. You see, when it comes on to salvation, uh -huh. there are steps that you have to take, my brother. I got you. And you have to go through a process to be identified with Jesus. Okay. Proce okay. The process is repent of your sin, mm -hmm. baptize in Jesus' name, and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38, Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you. So what kind of baptism? That's where I agree with you. Wait, wait, it says be baptized, but what kind of baptize wait, is this? Wait, me, baptism is this. Let me, let me no, listen, listen. No, no, no. I, I got you. Type of baptism is the merge on the okay, so this is where we don't agree. Christ said we should we should be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, but listen, but listen, you go here when the Holy I didn't say we just read in Matthew 3 verse 11. So so no no hold on hold on. Do you want her to go now or are you gonna go? Because cause we do things in order. Because I don't want both of you to be talking. But, but listen to what I'm go ahead. Listen to what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Have you experienced? Uh -huh. This is what I want to ask you. Because I respect you, brother, than what you're saying. Right, right. Come, come. But let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten the Acts chapter 2, verse 30 of experience? Okay. Have you? <laughs> Well, I, I, based on the baptism of the Holy Spirit is the Word of God. Yes. In fact, that's why we are here teaching wait, the Word. Because you, you cannot, you can oh, no, no, You ask me a question. You ask me a question. You don't let me answer. It's like I ask you, do you wait, like apple? Wait, no, you don't like apple. You like wait, banana. No, hold on. Right. Like you, uh, you can't ask me a question. Then right. you like you answering for right. me. So you ask me, did I experience the Holy Spirit yet? Right. No, have, you ex have you experienced Acts chapter two and verse thirty-eight? Okay, let's reach out. I start do verse. Thirty-eight form. Let's see what that experience is. <laughs> Let's see what that experience Acts, is. Chapter about. two, verse thirty-eight. Read. Then Peter said unto him, Repent and be baptized, uh -huh. every one of you, in the name of Amashiach, Christ, for the remission of sin, uh -huh. and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Right. So he read, says, read, read, it's, the read the next for him. Make him happy. For the promise is unto you and to your children uh -huh. and to all that are afar, right. even as many as the Most High. Our Lord uh, shall call. Okay. So now he said, did I experience this? Now I need to understand your thing. Because you said, so meaning, did I experience baptism yet? That's what you're asking me. So now, that being said, there's two baptisms in the Bible. John said, I baptize you with water. 
And he said, the one that's coming that's greater than me will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. So which baptism are you referring to? Have you, listen what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, have you experienced Acts chapter 2 verse 2? Okay, okay, so, so, wait up, wait up, wait up. you answering wait the question. Up, because you don't understand the scriptures, bro, so you need to. No, 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 no. How you know I don't understand, you don't listen. First John 5, 18, get me that. No, listen, but you have to answer that before you move to. I'm, I'm going to show you how I received that experience. Tell me. First John 5, 18. Go, hold on, hold on. The book of First John, chapter 5, verse 18. So you asked me, did I experience Acts 2, verse 38, 39. So I'm answering with a scripture because you give me a scripture. Yep. You want to hear the Bible or you want to hear me talk? We're here for the Bible. We're not here to tell you our experience. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It, it might be true, but listen, regardless. We know that whosoever is born of the Most High, sin not. So God say, whosoever is born of God. We talk about born again. It's the same as baptism. Right, hold on, hold on. We talk about born again, born of God. That's the same word. Read that again. But we know that whosoever is born of God, sin not. No. So if you born of God, you do not sin, right? So let, let me let me show you. Uh, uh, get me uh, First John four and three. Let me show. You. Hold on, hold on. Let be patient. Be patient. Please be patient. Let, please say don't with no more scripture. We here for the Bible, brother. We not here to tell you your our opinion. <laughs> first John four verse three. Hold on. First John chapter three verse four. Verse four. I'm trying to answer you say don't read the Bible. First John chapter three verse four. I'm making it make sense for you. Read. Whosoever commits sin trans also transgress also the law. So it says whosoever is born of God or born again, do not sin. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. Meaning, I'm I'm showing you. Oh no, I'm, you see the thing is you. No, the thing is you think I'm explaining you, brother. Listen, listen. I promise you, I'll let you go. I'll let you go earlier. I kept my promise. But he's a, you're not going to understand me if you keep thinking. You need to be listening. Whosoever, whosoever commits sin, read that. The book of First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Read it. Whosoever commits sin, transgresses also the law. Whoever commits sin, transgresses the law. First John 5, meaning if you sin, that means you break God's commandments. The laws that he gave to Moses. Right? That say you should not steal, you should not commit adultery. That's Those are sin. Right, like today is the Shabbat day. You should be keeping the Shabbat day holy. That's in the same. You keep the Shabbat day. Jesus Christ is our Sabbath. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's another topic. That's another topic. Hopefully, give you a chance to talk. I want to hear you on that. But hold on. But I'm in the middle of something. Let me finish. Let me tell you. See, you see how I did. I talk, I let you talk. And we do it respectfully. So now, let me finish explaining you my... Let me finish explaining you. So you ask me a question. Did I experience Acts 2.38? And I said yes. Because First John 5.18 tells you, if you're born of God, you do not sin. And you, I define to you what sin is. Today is the Sabbath day. I'm keeping the Sabbath day. God say I need to wear fringes in, in, in num Numbers 15.38. I got fringes on. Where's your fringes? Listen. No, no, it's a question. Where's your fringes? Fringes. fringes yes. Fringes can't save me. Bro. He, well, God say if you want to be saved, keep his commandments. That's right. That's right. Read that again. Let's bring it out. Playing game, man. Listen, listen. The book of First John, chapter 3. Uh, Matthew 19. Matthew 19. 19. Bring it out. Listen, I'm trying to explain. You're not trying to understand. You're trying to argue. You see, but sister, you, you want to let her talk now or you want to keep going? I'm explaining you, you're not listening. You asked me, did I experience Acts 238? And I showed you the only way you can experience Acts 238 if you keep God's commandments. Yeah, but you have to experience it first before you keep the commandments. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, all right, let me, let me, let me what is sin? Wait, 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 why did Jesus care? Okay, so wait, if. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, you have the mic. You know, what, what, you what you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? What's your question? Why did Jesus Christ came on the He earth? came according to himself, to what he said, not what I think. In Matthew 15 24, he came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel right. to save them. All right, all right. So when he came, right, I tell you, if you read Luke 
chapter 24 and verse 46. When it reads verse 45, this is what it says. You want me to read? We know you're not for reading. You okay. Read it. Follow it in your Bible. Okay, go ahead. And we know that word for right. Take it anyway, it so said, we see to make sure he's right. Just be on the same pitch. He said, and he led them as far as to Bethlehem. Oh, let open up the understanding. Which precept is that? You said Luke what? 24 verse 45. 45. Read, read Luke 24 it. verse 45. What is it? Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Uh -huh. And said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behove a Mashiach to suffer. Christ should suffer. And to rise from the dead the third day. Right, so that's what he's talking and about. That repentance. Read, read on. And verse 47. Uh -huh. And that repentance and remissions of sins shall be preached in his name among all nations, mm -hmm. beginning at Jerusalem. Right. And he are witnesses of these things. Right, so so what's your... Okay, what, what's, your, what's, your, what's your verse? What's your verse? So what, why did you pull that verse? Wait, wait, listen. Why did you pull that verse? Go ahead. May I tell you what happened? Because when Jesus came on the earth, uh -huh. he came for one thing, as you said, for the last sheep of the old people. Uh -huh. So he tell them that what they have to do to receive his power. They went to Acts chapter 2, verse 38. He said, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, what happened there? So if you don't have that experience, you don't identify with his majesty yet. If you want to call yourself Hebrew, Israelite, Gentile, whatever you want to call yourself, there's a process. Okay. I'm with you. Let me read Acts chapter wait, 2, verse 6. Wait, my friend. I'm with you at 100. Uh -huh. But not until you go through a process. Right. You cannot be identified with his majesty. Okay, so, so what is the process? The process is repentance. Uh huh. How do you repent? In Acts chapter 2, verse 6. <laughs> How do you repent? God is sorrow for your sins. Okay, what is it? It means repentance and baptism in Jesus' name. Yeah. What is, okay, let's start. You say there's a process. Yeah. Let me try to let's understand. Speak, speak to so first, process in what you understand is repentance, speak, right? Speak, what is repentance? You speak to his majesty. What is? Tell him that we were all born in sin. Okay. That's what the Bible said. And shaping in iniquity. That's what David said. In sin did my mother continue. That is in Psalm, that is in Psalm chapter 51. Okay, so so what is repentance? Now I'm trying to understand your process. Repentance what is repentance? Is confess to the Father that you acknowledge that you were born in sin. And you're okay. Sin. So you want him to cleanse you of all your Hey. Well, well, Psalm 1907. Get me Psalm 1907. Mm -hmm. Also, Acts 3. No, 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 no. Listen, you said there's a process. I agree with you. You say first there's repentance, then you say there's baptism. So I say, what is repentance? You say to confess. But let, 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 me, let me show you a different thing. He mentioned, how, he, he mentioned Psalms 19. Let's get Psalms 19. You want Psalm 19? Verse 7. Okay. Psalms 19, verse 7. And then so Acts. let me show you one thing about repentance you don't know. One thing you don't know about repentance. The book of Psalms. It's not just say, oh Lord, forgive me, I have sinned. Like when I used to be in the church, I, I, I used to be the devil the Bible speaks of. You know what I used to do? I used to, I used to pray and be like, oh God, forgive know, me. I don't, I don't, but tomorrow, I go back to doing the same thing I was doing. Listen, Confessing don't, don't mean nothing, don't, don't mean nothing to God. Go to church, no, not that, I said me. Yeah, I don't say you. Yeah, you go to church, I don't. No, no, I don't, I don't talk about people, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you are ever to church. No, no, I'm just I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me. Well, I used to be in church. T tomorrow I wake up and I did the same thing and I confess tomorrow again. Then tomorrow I go back to doing that's not repentance, bro. That's faking Christianity. We all know like after that dude, we know we're gonna eat that pork tomorrow. You know eating pork is, is against God's laws. I don't eat pork. Okay, good. That's very good. So we know we would eat pork and tomorrow we would go back to we pray God forgive me, I eat that pork. I know I'm not supposed to, but uh, I confess. Wait, now you know? All right, wait, no. You're talking about pork. Uh -huh. I got my Bible over there. It says that no man judges. Okay, that's another subject. <laughs> okay, no, no, okay, that, let me finish what I'm saying. I, listen, I can answer all the questions. I can answer every question. That's what we do. We eat the Bible for bread, brother. No, you don't. Read that, read that, read that. Let me show you repentance. Let me show you repentance. Let's go back, let's go back. We don't want to go over everything at once. You see the head of your church? No. You see the head of your movement? If I'm the elder? Yeah, well, me, I'm the head of your movement. The elder of my movement? Yeah, yeah. Well, the elder of my movement is called Yahawusha. 
there's a brother in New Year. No, that's not my elder. My elder is Christ. <laughs> Good. That's right. No, no, bro. I don't know none of that. My elder is Christ. He's the black Messiah that died for us. That's right. Read that. Bring it out. Read in the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let's, go, let's go back. No, we are GYC community. We are a community. We're not part, some part of a uh, high upper uh, corporate level thing. Right? We follow Christ, the black Messiah. No, we don't follow the brothers. We're different from them. We're different. We're not, we don't respond to the brothers. But go ahead. Go ahead. Read that. Let's, let's show you true repentance, bro. Read. Right? Acts 3, verse 19. No, I, That's right. It says, Repent ye therefore, uh -huh. and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Are Let me my, na, uh, ask now, uh, Acts, Psalms 19. Psalm 19 verse 7. Let's show you how the, the Bible says we need to repent so our sin may be blotted out. And be converted. But let's see how it's saying be converted. Why converted and repentance is the same, same thing. Word. What is your definition? Now, that's what I'm showing you. I don't have definition. I'm uh, God's word straight up. Psalm 19 verse you know? 7. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect. Uh huh. Converting the soul. They say God's law is perfect converting the soul. Read on. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So God it out. is what convert you, brother. So guess what? When the process you talk about is first repentance. That means you got to keep the law. The second thing you talk about is baptism. What? That's where we don't agree. You think I have to go plunge in the water. But I'm showing you that John the Baptist. He ba oh, no, 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 no. I'm saying there's two baptisms. John say I baptize you with water. The one that come will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. That's why we shouldn't continue doing water because he can't save no, nobody. No, listen, you don't understand this. Break it out. John said, listen, let me teach you because you don't know the Bible. Well, John said, I baptize with water. But right? after me cometh one who is mightier than I, right. whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Okay, so, so, so which baptize should we receive? The water or the Holy Spirit? The one who come who will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Okay, so that's what I'm married. Give the brother a hand. That's what I keep telling you. Bring it out. I keep telling you. Okay, get me Acts no, 5 no, verse. No, no, no. Answer the question. Get me Acts 5. I'm answering you the question. You say, have I experienced it already? I got to give you the Bible. <laughs> bro, the brother don't like the Bible. You don't like God's word, man. You, listen, we got a Bible verse for everything you say, brother. You okay trying, huh? Listen, you say baptism, and I show you there's two baptisms. There's one by water, and there's one by the Holy Spirit. But that one is done away with. The one by water is done away with. No. no. Well, John said, then that's what I ask you, brother. Which baptism do you receive? John baptism by water, or Christ baptism with the Holy Spirit? Okay, so he came with water. He came to pave the way. No, he came with water. All right, let me ask you a question. Did he come with water, wasn't, yes or no? No, 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 hold on. Yes, he was baptized under John. Why did he baptize? Because there was, that was the only system available at the time. Why did he say he baptized? Listen, listen. Why did when Jesus John say? came... Why did Jesus did, that did Jesus do sacrifice too? What did Jesus... Why did, what did Jesus say when he was baptized? In say... So for it to be so, John, I do it that men may do it also. Well, no, that's not what he said. What he said? What no, let, let's get this right. Why did Jesus baptize? No, you know, he said, let us accomplish all righteousness. Why did he, okay, so why uh -huh. did he baptize? <laughs> because at that time, that was the righteousness. To accomplish all righteousness. No, no, listen, listen. At that time, that just like the sacrifice, let me give you a simple scenario. When Christ came, they were sacrificing for sin and things like that. But after Christ, why should we continue sacrificing for sin? Okay, so before Christ came, John said, I baptize you with water. Jo Christ came under John's system. Of course, he's going to follow what John established. That's right. No, no, listen, no, listen. You're not listening, but... He did not follow John's baptism, bro. But he got baptized. That's following John's baptism. No, John came baptizing with water. <laughs> Jesus said, I baptize you with water. But... Can you guys have been Let me ask you, what did, what did Jesus say? He, oh. said, he said, John came baptizing with water and to repentance. Right, you right, right. Jesus so, in, in John also said, I baptize you with water. Right. I think so, for that. Right. So, so that was John 3, uh, Matthew 3.11, what I was showing him earlier. John said, listen, 
I'm just a guy that I'm baptizing you with water. John said that. I'm, I'm doing it with water, but there's somebody that's coming. He's doing it with the Holy Spirit. So, I, okay, so that's what I was trying to show. But we need to understand what that means first. Before you say, have I gotten that yet? Get me Acts 5.31. I'm going to show you. You see, you see, you don't wanna. You hear God's word, man. No, no, listen. You, <laughs> let me tell you what happened to you, brother. Acts five verse thirty-one. Let me tell you what happened to you, brother. Right. Well, I'm we might be. You know, we, you never know. I'm going to go. This is my duty. Is to tell you, brother. Uh huh. So Jesus said. Right. When you go to a man and tell him what we inherit Acts five thirty-two. The book of Acts, chapter five, verse thirty-two. Read on. One, two, three, and we are witnesses of these repent. things. Read on. Let and me show you so one also, last thing. One last thing. And he said, "We are witnesses of these things." Read on. And so is also the Holy Spirit, whom the Master had given to them that obey Him. You see that. Give the most high hand, God. Yeah. That's right. You see, you hear what the, the Bible says? I don't have to say anything. No, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on brother. I, that's what, I'm answering you. Do I have the Holy Spirit? Read it again. It says, you don't and like the Bible. we are his witnesses of these things. Read on. And so is also the Holy Spirit, whom the Master had given to them that obey him. So God gave his Holy Spirit to them that what? That obey him. Bring it out. Bring it out. That, that obey, obey him. him. So, you, you know, the only people that have God's spirit is those people that obey him. So the question I, if you have God's Holy Spirit, that means you should be obeying his laws. I, I agree with so you. me, I'm keeping fringes. Get me numbers uh, 1538. I'm, I'm going to show you that I obey God. That means I have that experience. Where your beard at? So now, after that, now I'm going to check you to see, do you keep God's law? That's right. That's right. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. I'm not done. You, you always interrupting, man. You're interrupting me 10,000 times. 10,000 times I've been counting. Let me ask you a question. Well, and no, you can answer a question while he's reading God's word. That's God's word. Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Read on. Throughout their generations. Uh, throughout all our generation, read on. That they put upon upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of what color? A ribbon of blue. You see that? That's a ribbon of blue. And you you see that? Read on. And it shall be to you unto you for a fringe. For a what? For a fringe. Those are fringes. You that, see? Read on. That he may look upon it and remember all the commandments so, of the Lord so, so and, do them, God, and do God, them. Get bring them it out. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, pray you see, the Bible says, the Bible, the most high, God give his Holy Spirit to people that obey him. So a sign you're going to know somebody have God's Spirit on him, you can keep the law. Right. That's one, he's keeping Shabbat day. He's not eating pork. He's not eating crab. Get me another law I see you not doing right now. Leviticus 21 verse 5. Let me ask you a question. No, let, let me see if you got the Holy Spirit now. Yeah. Bring it out. Leviticus 21, 21 verse 5. 5. Where are you going, brother? Come get some cuts. Because you only want to win an arc. You're trying to win an arc. I'm not winning anything. Listen, I, we're not out here to win, brother. The Bible's winning. We are here to, to bring brothers to repentance. It's not about winning. Leviticus 21 verse 5. Read. They shall not make boldness upon their hands. You're not supposed to what? They shall not make boldness upon Bring it out. You're not supposed to make your head bow like that, brother. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. You're not supposed to be beardless, brother. Bring I'm it out. Bring That's it a out. sin. Okay, so I know you don't have the Holy Spirit.